I recently heard someone say that if you have a vision, then you have a job. And uh, I found that really interesting. It was a really helpful um, phrase because it reminded me that the reason why I applied to be uh, Chief Executive of Edinburgh City Mission was because I had a real vision for, uh, for the City Mission, for what God could do through a dynamic and growing um, and prayerful City Mission. And um, so after I was appointed, I wanted to come up with a phrase that would really kind of encapsulate who we are so that people could really get a clear idea of what we're trying to do in the city. And, um, you know, through various uh, prayer walks and so on, and just asking God to help me with that, uh, I came up with this phrase, uh, stimulating and strengthening the church's mission in Edinburgh. And so what we mean by that is that we want to act as a catalyst uh, for local individual churches, uh, to give them ideas uh, about new ways that they could engage with people in their local community, that they could love their neighbours, and we want to get involved. So we're stimulating and strengthening the church's mission. So uh, by strengthening, we roll our sleeves up and we participate in mission with local churches. And so when I started, we had a network of uh, eight food banks, um, this is five years ago, who were in partnership with us and we coordinated the referrals to those food banks and we partnered with Bethany Christian Trust running the caravan. And since then we've developed various new projects. So in 2020 we added Salam to our uh, outreach work, which is our refugee and asylum seeker support work. And since then we've grown it, um, especially this year actually, we've been growing Salam a lot. And we have added other projects like um, a soul food meal that we do in Newington and an open hand, which is a toy delivery service uh, for uh, children's birthdays, helping parents who can't afford to buy a present for their child. We've also recently developed Two's Company, which is a befriending scheme for older people. Uh, we added uh, Nations, which is a racial justice and integration project to support the churches around the city uh, that are non-native English speaking or led by people from ethnic minorities. We want to support them and get behind what they're doing. We also opened the Storehouse, which is a food storage and distribution centre in Site Hill. And from the storehouse, we take top up food to the food banks around the city. Uh, we've been spending about a thousand pound a week since uh, March 2020. And we support two soul food meals from food from the storehouse. Uh, we're about to buy a new food delivery van to, uh, to distribute the food across Edinburgh. And we are about to launch a new parenting course for parents who are on a low income and the course is called Kids Matter. We're looking forward to launching that and we're about to relaunch our GAP scheme with someone joining us on our one year GAP project. So there are various ways in which we are seeking to help to support churches across Edinburgh, get out into their local community, support people who are experiencing deprivation, um, exclusion or isolation and our different projects reflect these concerns that we have. We believe that that's following Jesus' example. Jesus had a particular heart for uh, what the Bible calls the poor, and so we want to demonstrate that in all that we do. Um, our strap line is that we're in the city for the city, and so we want to get behind churches so that individuals can flourish and communities can thrive, and we ultimately hope and pray that God will be glorified through what we're doing.